Hello and welcome to the studio. Today I have something for all of you who are suffering from mystery electrical gremlins in your car, truck, or trailer. It's called Steel Camel Thread and Post. It's an industrial grade anti-seize. It retails for about 20 US dollars, about the same as a bottle of high quality dielectric grease. But unlike other off-the-shelf brand, this one has one unique feature. Because it turns out that one of the active ingredients in here destroys corrosion and oxidation. We figured this out by accident while testing the stuff as an anti-seize for our Racing Secrets blog on studiovrm.net. As part of the test cycle, we tried it on the battery terminals of our FJ Cruiser to see if it would protect them from that nasty white oxidation that builds up and causes hard starting and other mystery electrical issues. As you can see, the battery in this car is quite a few years old, and there's already a ton of corrosion caked on both terminals. So we just lightly brushed off some of the softer stuff, put a layer of this thread and post on the terminals, put it all back together, and just drove the car around as usual. We came back and looked at it a few months later to find this. The negative terminal looks exactly as we left it, but take a close look at the positive terminal. See those shiny spots where there's bare copper showing? Those areas were covered in rock hard chunks of oxidation before we started. It was hard enough that we literally could not get it off of the brush. What happened was that the thread and post reacted with the corrosion and softened it all to the point where it just peeled away from the metal on its own. Now this was a surprise to us because the manufacturer doesn't advertise thread and post as being a solvent or a cleaner, and it doesn't really say anywhere on the can. But we tried it on a few more places on our truck and trailer and confirmed that, yeah, the thread and post isn't just a dielectric grease, it actually destroys corrosion as it forms. Now this is a game changer for car enthusiasts, especially for those of us who drive cars that are more than 10 years old. Many of the mystery electrical issues in these older cars can be traced back to bad grounds in the wiring harness that are just corroded away or they're caked over in rust. Putting a layer of this stuff on the grounds in the engine bay will go a long way towards preventing that from happening, which in turn will stop those random electrical gremlins before they pop up. This is also a big deal for those of us who have trailers. It doesn't really matter whether you have a car trailer, boat trailer, utility trailer, or an RV, the wiring on these things go bad all the time, usually due to moisture getting in and just eating the wire from the inside out. Coating the exposed ends of the trailer wiring in this stuff will help the wires in the grounds last a lot longer, which means you won't have to go through that annoying process of rewiring your trailer on a yearly basis. And once you're done with all that, you can use the rest of the stuff as a regular high temperature anti-seize. It's uh, not too bad for $20. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you at the track. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering what that battery looks like now, here you go.